I now have the pleasure of being joined by Houston Baptist men's head basketball coach, Ron Cottrell. Coach, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for having me. It's been a long year, it seems, since the last time we talked about, thought about basketball. You and your team are preparing for the 2020-2021 season. What are you guys most excited about? Well, I think, first of all, just to get back out on the court and, and put some of the offseason behind us and actually get back to competing and doing things that our guys are excited about doing. And, you know, it's, it, it's, it has been a long time since we've been on the court and, and to, to have been a, away from each other for so long and spread out all over the country to, to finally be kind of back together and on a practice court and, and doing things that well to these guys – has really been refreshing. Uh, and now we're, you know, we're at a point where we're really starting to gear in towards getting prepared for first games and, and that sort of thing. And, and, uh, and so it's just been, it's been exciting. I, I, I'm really, you know, I guess everybody at this time of year is excited about their team and think their team's going to be, uh, you know, really, really good. And, and I, I'm no different. I, I really feel good about our returners, the guys we had out last year that were, that were injured, and then our, our new guys coming in as well. Talking a little bit about personnel, it seems like this year your team is more experienced, more veteran, a couple older guys than normal. The fact that they have that experience under their belt, whether it's playing at a junior college and now coming and playing for Houston Baptist or playing for the program, how does that help you guys prepare for this season? Well, I think it starts with we have more mature players. Uh, now, more maturity, more age doesn't necessarily lead, lend itself directly to, to wins and success, but it certainly gives you guys who've been down this road before, know what to expect, uh, understand the ups and downs of a season and, and, and preparation, what it takes to get it done uh, on the college level. And so I think the fact we brought in, you know, three junior college players that are all juniors, uh, we've had a couple guys who set out last year who are a little bit older uh, that, that due to injuries didn't play. But I, this is the oldest team we've had in probably four or five years. Uh, and, and then we've only got two true freshmen uh, that they're first years out of, out of high school. And so uh, if you look up and down our roster, you see guys who, who've got some experience, have, have got experience on the Division One level or on the junior college level. I think that really gives us a, an advantage over teams we've had in recent years. Last season, second in the Southland Conference in terms of offensive scoring, but you lost your two top scorers. Is it going to be one individual who's going to step up or is it going to be a committee of others who will help t try to keep you guys on track of, of making that happen? I think in a lot of ways it's our system. We know we want to play fast. We're going to, we're going to push the ball. We're going to try to create as many possessions as we can in a, in a game. And, and so I think the system lends itself to us being a, a higher scoring team. But I think we are more multifaceted, I would say. I think we've got more guys who can carry the load, who can play different positions. Uh, we've got a, a really, really versatile team. Uh, as far as positionally and as far as being able to how we score. We've got guys, I think, more three-point shooters than we had last year, and we've got more athletic wings than we had last year. So I think it'll be a committee of people uh, that'll get it done, but I, I think our, our guys are, are ready to step up to that challenge. Lastly, just in terms of looking towards this season, goals that you have for the team. Well, obviously, I think we've got to become a better defensive team. We were not a very good defensive team last year, and we all admit that. We all know that. That's been something we, we really stressed in the offseason. I think our guys really have bought into – they know if we're going to be competitive in this league, we've got to be able to get stops. We can't just outscore people all the time. We can't create the pace and, and depend on – especially when you go on the road in the Southland, being able to outscore people on their home court. That's just so hard to do. We've got to be able to get stops. And so that's – the number one thing is, is being able to get better defensively, taking pride in getting stops and, and being able to put ourselves in a position where we're not relying on being able to shoot the ball at a high percentage every time we step on the court. And I think our guys are just going to have to learn. We've got so many new guys that learn how to play together quickly. Our non-conference schedule is going to test us very, very quickly. And we start off with TCU right off the bat. Uh, in Fort Worth on, on, you know, three weeks from today. And, and so it's going to be, uh, you know, a tough road right off the bat. We go from there to Arizona State, and, and the hits just keep coming for us. And so uh, if we can come out and, and aggressively 
bring these guys along and get them used to playing together quickly uh, against high level of competition. I think that's going to help us once we get to January 2nd.